engaging the patient and the patient community at the start and saying, hey, we want to look into this. We, you know, we have an idea. We think that this might be, you know, it might work. We want to do this clinical trial. We want to frame it like this. Taking those patients and having that conversation with them at the start allows you to shape that clinical trial as to how it will work for the community. You know, if you want to have a clinical trial where you want everybody to meet in person, but the majority of those patients would find it really difficult to travel long distances, would find it really uncomfortable to, to travel several hours to a hospital or, you know, knowing that information at the, the start can influence your clinical trial design. It can influence how you share the information if you if you're trying to to treat blindness you want to know that you have certain things in place at the start for how you're going to present the information to the patient groups do you need to have it in braille does it need to be audio all of these things are so important to actually speak to the community and find out what the community want you know you speak to the community and say you know hey we we figured that kids walk late with Invadupdel 8P. This is something that we want to research. The community might go, that's all well and good. We'd much rather you check cardiovascular findings and seizures first, because actually that's more of a burden mm -hmm. of disease than the late walking. So in, in, involving patients should be a critical first step because that's where you find out the burden of disease, the prevalence of symptoms, what the community want and how you can best serve that community.